I got really interested quite early on in the grotesque and in grotesque design in the Renaissance. Salvador Dali has got nothing on whatever those guys were doing back in the Renaissance. And I had this wonderful mental image of someone drawing through the night, going on and on as the candle burns down and the drawings become kind of stranger and stranger and stranger and the, the night becomes darker and longer. And I wanted to kind of bring some of that into my work as well. My practice involves using the traditional forms and materials of sculpture. So using materials like bronze, wax, clay and plaster. But I use those to speak about more contemporary experience and also bringing a sort of slightly feminist perspective. The title of the residency is Shifting Perspectives and the residency brief was to respond to a particular gallery in the museum. And this was a gallery in medieval and Renaissance where quite a few works had been temporarily removed for the Donatello exhibition. The artist in residence was tasked with responding to these absent works. So one of the first things I did was to start to sort of pull out themes from the works that I could see one of the pieces that I worked on during the residency is a large wax head based on the head of Goliath by Donatello. David is standing with his foot triumphant on the severed head of Goliath. I really like this image of, of the weak kind of triumphing over the strong. The making process for the Goliath head was quite long. I began by building an armature, which is a, a structure that you work over made from sort of timber and wires. I then laid clay over the top of that and then I sculpted the clay into the form of the head. From that I made a two-part silicon and rubber mould. I then layered the wax into the mould by pouring molten wax in and moving the mold around so that the wax would skin inside the mold and create layers. And I've pigmented the wax as I've gone on, which is why when you look at the piece, you can see a kind of white layer on the outside moving down to a sort of deep coral pink on the very inside of the piece. That was the first stage of the making and the Goliath's head was displayed in the gallery initially in this intact state. Later on, there's a second stage of the process, which is to do with kind of unmaking the piece, taking it apart. So to do that, I used hot tools and cut into the wax layers and peeled them back, almost like a, a surgeon, to sort of reveal the inner layers of the piece and also to create this kind of seashell or a kind of gruesome, grotesque flower. So at this point, I'm really in dialogue with the material. You know, part of me wants to control the sculpture, but the sculpture is also doing its own thing. And that's what gives the work its energy, if you like. I intentionally used a lot of pink. I realized quite early on that I was surrounded by artworks made by men. I didn't see any artworks that would have been made by women. And I, I kind of wanted to just sort of have a little kind of subtle wave at that by using pink within the space. Another work that I've created during the residency is a piece called Trophy. It's inspired initially by the magnificent gilded copper mask that was in the Donatello exhibition. I used a lot of colour in this piece. The fruits are cast from real fruit and the roses are made by pouring thin sheets of wax and then gently tearing these and shaping them to make petals. And the colours and the decoration with the fruit and the flowers is a kind of reference homage to the Della Robbia ceramics which I completely love. 
And also this object brings in some of these ideas from grotesque ornament design and the idea of human figures or bodies that are kind of morphing, metamorphing into plant matter, into something else. So there's quite a lot of different references and ideas and kind of visual and thematic references coming into this work. Now, at the end of the residency, my own perspective on my practice and my creativity as an artist has also shifted radically, actually, over the course of the residency. So it sounds very, very corny, but it really has been a journey where I'm kind of seeing that my perspective on my identity as an artist, how I work and my practice has also shifted quite dramatically across these nine months.